April is a time of new beginnings and a continuation of the decision we made to be better and to seek the right path. More than a quarter of the year has passed, and we've had successes and setbacks. We haven't stayed knocked down. We picked ourselves up with a new sense of optimism. Let's continue pursuing our New Year's goals. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, how are we exhibiting our subservience to our higher power today? April 27th, Thought for the Day. By submitting to God, we are released from the power of liquor. It has no more hold on us. We're also released from the things that were holding us down. Pride, selfishness, and fear. And we are free to grow into a new life, which is so much better than the old life that there's no comparison. This release gives us serenity and peace in the world. Have I been released from the power of alcohol? Meditation for the day. We know God by spiritual vision. We feel that He is beside us. We feel His presence. Contact with God is not made by the senses. Spirit consciousness replaces sight. Since we cannot see God, we have to perceive Him by spiritual perception. God has to span the physical and the spiritual with the gift to us of spiritual vision. Many persons, though they cannot see God, have had a clear spiritual consciousness of Him. We are inside a box of space and time. But we know there must be something outside of that box, limitless space, eternity of time, and God. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may have a consciousness of God's presence. I pray that God will give me spiritual vision. It is a strange idea to think that God can rid us of our drinking obsession, but it is true. It has been shown millions of times. We know it to be true in Alcoholics Anonymous. The big book describes a process which will solve our problem. Our problem is us. It is exhibited brightly and for all to see by our drinking, and we learn that liquor was just a symptom. The real problem is our selfishness. Drinking goes away when we no longer have to drink our fears away, when we no longer think predominantly about ourselves and our personal protection. Faith in a higher power accomplishes it all for us. We know we are powerless. That is step one, and is easy at this point. By working all the steps in AA, we are able to uncover, to discover, and to discard all our shortcomings that get in the way of our conscious contact with our higher power, and it also eliminates our drinking problem. We have a disease of the body, the mind, and the will. When the spiritual solution solves our self-will problem, our body and mind are no longer sick. Discovering that there is a solution where we really don't have to do anything should be the easiest thing to accept and easy to do. All we have to do is let go and let God. How do we do that? Admitting we are insane regarding drinking and believing there is a power greater than ourselves that can restore our sanity catapults us into action to do our small part in living free. We decide to trust our infinite God to remove all that gets in the way of us doing His will. After cleaning out the wreckage of our past, doing the middle steps, writing out our inventory, and telling it to another man and God, we ask God to remove them. We do not remove them, our character defects. Our higher power does, as long as we stay in fit spiritual condition by helping others and remembering to pray for His guidance. When we do, we practice these principles in all our affairs, so no new resentments or issues come up, and our lives are happy, joyous, and free. Our days are less stressful, 
and our entire perspective and our passions are different and on a higher level. We are not at the center of our thoughts any longer. Our egos are deflated, and we can't wait to grow closer to our higher power and our fellow travelers. Service is not a burden. It is a welcomed opportunity to be useful to others. Consider, how are we exhibiting our subservience to our higher power today? April 27th, Thought for the Day. By submitting to God, we are released from the power of liquor. It has no more hold on us. We're also released from the things that were holding us down. Pride, selfishness, and fear. And we are free to grow into a new life, which is so much better than the old life that there's no comparison. This release gives us serenity and peace in the world. Have I been released from the power of alcohol? Meditation for the day. We know God by spiritual vision. We feel that He is beside us. We feel His presence. Contact with God is not made by the senses. Spirit consciousness replaces sight. Since we cannot see God, we have to perceive Him by spiritual perception. God has to span the physical and the spiritual with the gift to us of spiritual vision. Many persons, though they cannot see God, have had a clear spiritual consciousness of Him. We are inside a box of space and time, but we know there must be something outside of that box, limitless space, eternity of time, and God. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may have a consciousness of God's presence. I pray that God will give me spiritual vision. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.